The I Am Discourses by the Ascended Master St. Germain Discourse number 33 Arcturus Independence Day Discourse July 4th, 1932 St. Germain Invocation Mighty, sustaining, enfolding presence We give praise and thanks for thy life everlasting Thy youth eternal, thy light illumining The Discourse O America, we love you, mighty seed of God's eternal manifestation. We give praise and thanks that thou art sustained and governed by God alone. The day on which independence within thy heart was established, thou didst become a radiating center of light to all humanity. We give praise and thanks that out of all will come peace and prosperity to mankind in thy embrace. Back of thee is the power that will sustain and maintain the reign of God on earth. His light shall illumine and strengthen the hearts of thy children in all ruling places. And out of all shall come love, justice, and wisdom. America, we love you. 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 you. Today, O America, those mighty messengers of God who have passed before, look upon thee with their hearts filled with love and strength, the love of the mighty I Am Presence flowing forth to heal, to bless, and to prosper thy inhabitants. The very substance of earth is being quickened into greater activity, And as the children of God walk the earth, so shall they feel the current of God flowing in, quickening them into greater love, loyalty, and desire for thy freedom, O America. Thou dost seem to have become bound, but thou art not. Thou art entering into thy great freedom. Thou dost seem in the throes of pain, but thou wilt be born into that great peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. We give praise and thanks that this is God's wisdom, the mighty I Am Presence speaking. The Christ child enfolding thee, America, has grown into majesty and power. It no longer pleads but commands obedience of all that is of the outer to the service of the inner presence. The power of divine love governs thee and consumes all unlike itself. America, we give praise and thanks that thou art a great jewel within the heart of God, the lamp of illumination, lighted by the mighty I Am Presence, the chalice, the crystal cup, holding within its pure radiance the freedom, peace, health, prosperity, and illumination of those who dwell within thy embrace. May all the world feel thy radiance and be blessed by it. Peace, 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 and on earth good will to man. Arcturus Notes I would suggest that sometime each day you think of yourself as a radio station sending forth peace and goodwill to all mankind. 
know that in this mighty consciousness the limitless power of the mighty I Am Presence flows forth to each individual and gives that which he is ready to receive, bringing enlightenment and decision to everyone. Be conscious that your own minds are such powerful divine centers that at any time you can make quick, unerring decisions through the power of divine love. Recognize that your mind is but a vehicle of the great master presence of the mighty I am presence within, and that it is to obey that inner presence at all times. Command it always to act with decision, alertness, and quickness, and that all human sense of wavering be forever consumed. The New Cycle Today is a focal point of 10,000 years, the beginning of another cycle of 10,000 years, in which the great ones from Venus, who have always been instrumental in the uplift of humanity and our earth, this day come forth and pour out to humanity throughout the earth a mighty radiance. This will bring about more quickly a greater stabilization and confidence in the hearts of many public officials. It will cause them to have a strong, unwavering desire to re-establish America in confidence and prosperity and make them feel a deeper love and loyalty for her progress than ever before. Many will have learned that they cannot rule humanity with a ruthless hand, for they are seeing that the inroad of control which they have desired to gain over others is returning to themselves for redemption. If this lesson can be impressed upon them sufficiently, a great calamity will have been averted. In this quickening period, things can be done in the short period of 20 years that would ordinarily require a hundred years. St. Germain's Description of New Year's Eve Conclave at the Royal Teton January 1, 1935. It is with great joy that I relate to you briefly some of the activity that took place at the Royal Teton last night. 214 of the Ascended Masters were present and 12 from Venus. The all-seeing eye was in the most powerful action known thus far. Great rays of light are made permanent to our national capital and the capital of each state that a constant radiation may pour forth to these focal points and also to the principal cities of Europe, India, China, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, South America, Africa, and Mexico. A similar activity or radiation from the Golden City and the Shambhala was also poured forth, making a triple activity for the blessing of mankind. Every effort is being made to avoid as much destructive activity as possible throughout the world. The activity of the past three months has been tremendously encouraging, and we do have high expectation for this year. Being so well aware of the free will of humanity, we can but trust for their harmonious cooperation with the conscious radiation pouring forth from the above-mentioned triple activity. There are outpourings of light from the tall master from Venus, Jesus, and the great divine director, such as I have not known before in my experience. The many who have been fully aware of my sincere efforts for the blessing of America have now joined me in full power to achieve all possible that the cosmic law and the law of the individual will permit. The cosmic laws are daily giving greater freedom in this activity, which is the thing that gives us such great encouragement. There were many students present last night, for which I am very grateful. There is much detail of the activity which took place that I may not reveal at this time, but I assure all the students 
that it was marvelous beyond description. The great host of ascended masters joined me in their love, light blessing and opulence to the students, to America and to the world, that this year be unparalleled in its happiness to mankind. In the fullness of my love, Saint Germain. Fini. Thank you. 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 I promise in this moment. in the